Docking your laptop and using it as a desktop is something that a lot of us do as you just want one machine for travel and on your desk. But when you're working on your desk, all you want is the ports that you need, connecting up to your monitor on your desk and with all the peripherals that you have normally on your desk with just one cable. Well, with the Sabrent Thunderbolt 3 docking station, this might be your ultimate companion for your desk. Hello everyone, it's Mike from Sabrin, and if you enjoy tech videos and tech related videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated for any future updates. The Sabrin Thunderbolt docking station is a very cool piece of kit as it has almost everything you need for when you're on your desk, but enough talking, let's unbox this thing and I'll tell you how this thing performed in my day-to-day -day uses. Okay, so here's the packaging and as you can see, if we take a look around, it has all of the ports and stuff like that laid out, but I'll talk a little bit about that later on in the video, but let's just see what you get in the box. So I'm just going to open it up and let's open this. So as you can see, we've got the dock literally in the center right over here and it is a very cool piece of kit but i'll get into this in a moment so i'm just going to pop this to the side and inside we have the power cable for all the different areas so for me it's going to be this three pin as i'm here in the uk but it comes with obviously the european and the other type as well us and then we've got the power adapter as well so this one here is a 135 watt power adapter and then we have the user manual just over here but it's so easy to use and then we have a thunderbolt cable to connect this thing to your mac or thunderbolt compatible windows computer so taking a look around the thunderbolt docking station up on the front here we've got two activity lights that's just to let you know what's going on whether it's data transfer obviously it being turned on as well and then right next to that we've got the sd card slot so this sd card slot right over here is a uhs1 card slot and then right next to it we have two usb 3.0 ports but one of them supports charging so you're what you're able to do is is connect up your android or iphone for example connect it up to your computer you can do a backup charger up, everything like that and then you've got another one spare for connecting up let's say a drive or something like that and then right next to that we have a head headphone jack which is really nice because especially when you're docked uh, on your desk with let's say your macbook obviously reaching that headphone jack isn't that easy so having it on the dock is really nice and it's surprising how many docks are missing a headphone jack and it's such a simple inclusion i really like this docking station and then if we take a look around the size, there's nothing as you can see, except for the back, which has a whole bunch of IO. So first of all, we get three USB 3.0 type A ports, and this delivers up to five gigabits per second. And then right next to it, we have a gigabit ethernet port, which is so useful when you're docked uh, on your desk. And then right next to that, we have two Thunderbolt ports. So this one over here, is when you connect it up to your MacBook or laptop that's Thunderbolt compatible. And this will allow up to uh, 60 watts of charging while it's delivering data and taking data from the dock. Then, because you're using obviously one of those Thunderbolt ports to connect up the rest of this, it, we actually give you another Thunderbolt port so you're able to connect up, for example, our XTRMQ SSD to it while you're working, which means that you can actually be able to take full advantage of our Thunderbolt drive while using all the other peripherals that you need and you're still using the same hub which is absolutely fantastic because because you're using that single port that you, you still have that other port or the other IO completely free to connect whatever you want. But the fact that we give you uh, five USB 3.0 ports plus an Ethernet port for connecting up really fast SSDs like our XTRMQ SSD and then obviously being able to charge it up to 60 watts of power is just fantastic. And you've got the Ethernet cable right. Uh, Ethernet port right over here as well. 
Okay, so let me just pull that out and let me show you the HDMI port because this is great for connecting up really high quality monitors and, and pro grade monitors like for color grading and stuff like that because this supports up to 4K 60 Hertz, which is absolutely fantastic. And then finally, we've got the DC 20 volt uh, input, which is what you'll use the power adapter for. This is an incredible dock and working with it has been really easy. In my workflow, I connect this up to both my Intel Nook and my M1 MacBook while using my really fast Thunderbolt SSD from Sabrin, as well as all my other USB connected devices. I literally just have this thing sat on my desk and I love the fact that I have no issues, no matter how hard I push it. Sabrent have definitely made and built something that not only looks great, but works great too, which as a professional is just what I need. With the ports of modern computers like MacBooks being really limited, having a Thunderbolt dock like this on your desk just makes sense with those computers as it just makes it easier to use those computers so you can access all of its power while using all of the IO that you need. If you are a photographer, video content creator, or just a professional in general, then this is a great docking station for your work. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can pick one up. And also I'll leave a link down for the Sabrin website to check out more cool products like this. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and also comment down below if you've picked one up for yourself. Also, if you're new to the channel, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get updated for any future videos. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.